Hi, I'm Craig, and welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by ApplianceVideo.com. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Samsung Electric Freestanding Range. We'll show you how to remove and replace your door latch assembly. To begin this repair, you must first access the back of the unit. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. The tools you will need to complete this repair is a number two Phillips screwdriver, a tack puller, and a voltmeter. Now that we are at the back of the unit, we'll remove the back panel. We'll go around the perimeter, remove all the Phillips screws that hold it on. Now that the screws are removed, to take off the back panel, be very careful because the edges are extremely sharp. You'll have to pull out on the bottom, lift up, and slide it out, then set it aside. With our back panel removed, we now have clear access to our door lock assembly. Reasons why you'd be replacing this is if maybe you're trying to enter self-clean, and it'll keep saying that the door is open. You'll hear a grinding noise or something when it is trying to lock the door, or it could be having a burning smell or shorting something out. All of these are common symptoms for this mechanism to be bad. First thing you want to do is test out our micro switch. Right now, the door is open, so we remove the Molex. We'll set our meter to ohms. I'm going to set it to an audible tone, so if it is good, you should hear showing that. Let's go ahead and put it on here. We do have an audible tone. It does have resistance in it. So if the door latch is actually closed, this should have no audible tone, nothing. It, it just basically be an open circuit. Next thing you want to do is unplug the Molex going to the motor. Plug in your unit. Make sure you have power going to it. Turn on the self-clean. And when it's going to lock your door, you should have 120 volts going to this. Now, as long as that test is OK, let's unplug the unit. We'll test out the ohm rating on the actual motor. Should have somewhere around 1900 to 2000 ohms. Reading about 1935. So it's actually testing out okay. To replace it, let's head around to the front of the unit. Now that we're back to the front of the unit, first we'll need to remove the door, open it all the way, Use either a tack puller or a small flat blade screwdriver. Push down on these tabs. After you get them all the way down, move the door to where it stops. Next, grab it, bend in, and pull out. Put the door removed. We'll have to take off the two screws that hold on the front portion of the mechanism. Now, we'll go back to the back of the unit. We'll remove the two screws that are holding on the door lock mechanism. Set these aside and slide out on the door lock. And remove. To install your door lock mechanism, gently slide it through. It can get caught on some insulation, so make sure if it gets stuck, you kind of pull back and forth and wiggle it around to break it free. Once we get to a certain point, we will have to look in the front to guide it into the correct spot. So let's go around to the front. At the front, there are three screws that are holding in the front of the cooktop. You'll want to remove these.
Next, grab the top of the cooktop, slide it forward and lift up. We can grab our lock mechanism, pull it the rest of the way through. Slide back down your cooktop. Replace two screws on the front to secure the front portion of your mechanism. Next, replace the three screws that held in your cooktop. Now we can reinstall our door. Install your door, slide the hinges in the slotted area. It will go in a certain way. You'll have to do them kind of an angle until they catch as a rod inside of it. But once they're at that spot, you'll be able to open it, push back in on the locks, Now we can go around to the back of the unit. First thing we want to do is push down on the door latch. Install your first screw that holds it in. Then also push down and install your second screw. Reconnect your Molex connector to the motor, then to the micro switch. Now we can reinstall our back panel. To install your back panel, first you need to guide the sides into the slotted area. Let it drop down freely. Next, go around the perimeter and replace your Phillips screws that hold it on. and this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.